Hi, my name is Mike Smith. I'm a retired Navy Rear Admiral, and I'm thrilled to be here tonight. I've stationed in Norfolk three times. Uh, my wife and I still have a house out on Willoughby Spit, so uh, every hurricane season we keep our fingers crossed and hope we make it through. So, hey, I I'm here for two reasons tonight. Uh, the first one is that I want to validate that veterans can be Democrats. You know, rightly so, the armed forces have to be nonpartisan. But you know, when I was on active duty, I was absolutely so frustrated that everybody just assumed I was a Republican. The comments keep coming, the jokes never stop. Well, I'm here to say that veterans and active duty service members can be Democrats as well. We all swore to defend the Constitution. And the values that are in that Constitution are in the bedrock of the platform of the Democratic Party as well. It's time for Democrats to push back on the Republican Party. The Republican Party does not have a lock on patriotism. They don't have a lock on love of country, and they don't have a lock on serving your country. And by God, the Department of Defense is not a part of the Republican National Committee. If you're a veteran, if you're active duty, if you're a military family member, well, you guys out there, stand up, raise your hands, let's give them a break. The real reason I'm here, or the main reason I'm here, of course, is because I support Senator Elizabeth Warren. I love how her plans support the veterans, they support the service members, and they support our, their military families. I love the fact that, well, it's the hardest job there is, is a military spouse. There is no doubt about that. They have earned our respect, but they also earn our support if they want to pursue their own independent career. <laughs> Universal child care will allow them the flexibility and the ability to, to pursue meaningful employment and not have to worry about at the end of the month, are they going to be able to pay their bills? No matter where our service members are stationed, or where our veterans end up transitioning to, they deserve to be supported. And Senator Warren's plans are going to do exactly that. Not to mention, if you take a look at her med the medical care issues, our reservists deserve to be fully covered, medical and dental, between their deployments. It's a readiness issue. And our veterans who don't fall under the VA medical system, they need to be covered too. This is a national security issue. It's time for Americans to accept and to, that universal health care is a human right. Every American deserves to be covered. So it's time for us to embrace this very bold policy and accept it as something that we have to bring forward in this next election. I love Senator Warren. I love her passion. I love her brilliance. And I love her support for the middle class and the little guy. Yeah. You know, she believes what we learned in the military, that every American counts. Every American has value. Every American contribute, and every American deserves our full respect.
That's why I'm here tonight. I just wanted to put a shout out to our Democratic veterans and service members and their families. And I wanted to endorse Senator Elizabeth Warren because I believe that she has the courage and she reflects the core values that those of us in the military strive to obtain. I am a Warren Democrat. Thank you for putting up with me. I don't know why I got up here, but thank you. And uh, I hope you have a great night. And now I'm going to introduce Zach, who's the organizer here. And uh, I'll let him talk next.